hello everyone welcome back so in our previous video we have completed this project setup and all so in this video i will show you like how we can write our logging module okay uh, because guys see uh, this logging is very much important whenever you are trying to implement any project okay suppose uh, if you are not doing logging okay you can't actually track the flow okay of your code so that's why it's better practice uh, whenever you are trying to implement any project try to also create this uh, logging module okay so it will actually help you to log each and everything whatever you are doing okay so suppose uh, i'm writing one component and inside that i'm logging suppose this file has created to this folder okay this file i have deleted from this folder so everything i can see from the log so whenever you will be replying this application you won't be getting any terminal okay so there actually you won't be get, uh, like seeing this kinds of messages so better if you create this kinds of custom logs and uh, it will generate one log file okay that log file you can download and see like what was the issue okay with your code so that's how actually you can track uh, your code using this logging module so how we can implement this logging module let me show you so first of all what i will do i will open this src folder inside ssc folder i think you remember i created another folder called cnn classifier okay i will open this one and here i have one uh, constructor file okay called underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi uh, even what you can do you can create another folder called logging and inside that you can again create this constructor file and you can uh, like implement your log uh, that way it can be also done but i will follow this way okay because this way what i feel like it's a little bit easy for me to import okay so what i will do i will open this constructor file and uh, here actually i'll be writing my logging uh, logic okay so first of all i will import os let me zoom a little bit yeah uh, os module i need then i i will also import sys okay sys is nothing but it's a system module then i will also import uh, python logging okay because python already has one uh, like you can say uh, pre-built logging module so i'll be using this one so the first thing what I need to do, I need to uh, specify my logging string. So let's specify logging uh, str. Okay. And here you need to mention your uh, like logging format. Okay. Which format actually you want to get your log. So what I will do, I'll give uh, first of all ASCII time. Okay. I want to first of all print the ASCII time. Okay. So first of all, I'll be taking ASCII time. After that, I'll be taking uh, level name. That means my log level name, okay? Then after that, I'll be taking uh, module. Like from which module it is coming, okay? Module. And uh, after that, uh, I'll be taking message as well. Message, okay? So this is going to be my logging format, okay? So this thing would be very clear whenever I'll be generating this log file and I will uh, show you, okay? Like how it will log each and every, uh, like you can say, uh, details, okay? So now what I need to do, I will create one directory called logs. So I will just uh, give this directory name log dir. And here let's mention the name logs, okay? It will create one folder called logs. Inside that I'll be, uh, Mm, I'll be creating one uh, file called running log dot log. Okay, so this file actually I'll be creating and in this file actually I'll be saving all my log. Okay, so for this what I will do I will just take one log file path variable. Okay, inside that I'll just write os dot part dot join. Okay, then I will provide my log directory and uh, with that I will also give my uh, file name. Okay, I want to save so I will just give running. Running underscore log. Okay. Logs dot log. Okay. So this is the name I will give. Okay. Now, once it is done, then I, I also need to make this directory. So I'll just use west dot make dirs. Okay. So it will actually make this directory and uh, uh, yeah. So I'll just write log directory log underscore dir. It will create this directory. And I also need to mention one. Uh, parameter i think you remember exist okay is equal to two if it is not there it will create otherwise it won't be creating okay then here i will mention my uh basic configuration of my logic okay so i'll just write logging dot uh, basic config and uh, here first of all i need to mention my level okay log level so level i want to take information log okay info level then 
I also need to specify my format. So format equal to the format actually we have created. Okay, so this is the format we have created. I will mention here. Then after that, uh, I will also take two things handlers. Okay, what is handler? Let me tell you. First of all, let me specify. So it, it is going to be one list. So here. So here the first parameter I will be taking, which is nothing but uh, let me specify logging dot file handler. Okay. So what is file handler? Suppose see whenever you will be running your log. Okay. Suppose I have specified my log and whenever your code will execute. Okay. So it will basically create one file. Okay. It will first of all, it will uh, create one file called running logs. Okay. Inside running logs, it will write all the logs. Okay. So that's why I'm mentioning I want. Okay. Uh, it will also handle my file okay with that i also want to uh, print that log on my terminal okay like both way i want to see the log okay so that's why i'm uh, like uh, writing this uh, parameter okay so inside file handler you just need to provide your log file path okay see this is my log file path because here actually it will be writing all the logs right so that's why i i will specify the path okay and similar way i also need my uh, stream handler okay stream handler so in this stream handler you just need to specify sys dot uh, system out okay st out std out okay this parameter so this parameter what it will do it will actually print that log on your terminal okay so both way i want to see my log that's why i have mentioned this thing okay that's it now at the last i will mention my uh like logging name so i just need to write logging dot let me specify one variable logger uh, logging dot get logger okay and here what is my name of the application so it's uh, cnn classifier okay and with that i will just provide logger okay that's it okay i think i clicked yeah yeah so this uh, module we have written successfully now let's save it and test it whether it's working or not okay so what i will do uh, at the left hand side let's create one for uh, file okay called test.py let's test it whether our log is log is working or not so i'll just write test.py okay so here first of all let's import our logging okay so how i can import because we have written this logging inside the cnn classifier okay so i'll just write from cnn classifier because cnn classifier it is coming because we have already installed it okay as my local package as you remember okay as as my local package we have already installed okay that's why it's coming okay whenever trying to impo import this thing so from C cnn classifier import logging okay so that's how you need to import your logging so this this custom logging we have uh, created this logging we are importing okay after that i will just simply write logging dot info okay uh, let's give some message here. Uh, welcome to our custom log. Okay, custom log. Okay, now let's execute and see whether uh, it is creating this log folder. Inside that, it is creating this log file or not. Okay, and it is logging this information a lot. So I will open my terminal and let's execute. So I'll clear. So I'll just write Python test.py. Okay, now let's execute. Okay, guys, see, it is also printing on your terminal. Okay, see, it is also printing on your terminal. So what was my log level? Let me show you. So first of all, it will print your ASCII time. Okay, like the current time. Okay, you are running the log. Then it will uh, give the log level. Okay, it, which is nothing but information. Then it will give the module name, like we, from which module you are running. So I'm running from test.py. So that's why it is giving test. And it will provide the message name. Okay, so this is the message. Okay, we have given. That's how actually it works. Okay. Now see here it has created another folder called logs inside that it has created logging underscore logs dot logs okay this file now let's open and the same thing you can see here okay so yes guys i think now you should be clear with okay like how this logging is working okay now in our each and every components i will be using this logic like logging dot info and i will log the information i want to log okay so that's actually we'll be tracking uh, all of the you can say error and all of the you can say uh, process of our code so yes guys this is all about how from this video i hope you got it like how to implement this logging module and this is very much important i'm again telling okay just try to maintain this log in your every project okay so yes guys this is all about from this video so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time